morning everyone or afternoon or evening whenever it is that you are catching this video um this is shannon with apex tarot pure spirit and i uh, welcome you here for the 24-hour rune reading today's date is the 25th of november anyone who is um celebrating a birthday today happy 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 birthday to you all right let's go ahead and get in here and see what spirit wants us to know and understand Thank you, sweet divine, for purifying messages. I just bind and block and rebuke all negative forces. I command for the truth to come to the surface for our highest good. What do we need to know? What's the wisdom of the matter? What energy is around us and available to us? What do we need to understand today about the next 24 hours? I thank you for your divine power. We got the Laguz here, which is water, and I love it because I did like a five minute video this morning uh, on the chariot, which is today's date is the seven, it will break to a seven. And um, the chariot. It rules, it's, it's cancer energy. It rules over that fourth house, which is ruled by the moon. This is about water here. The chariot also is Jupiter exalted in that sign, in that uh, chariot. So we're getting, and we're going to go into the ninth house where it's, there's victory. Seven is a victory number. And so that's, that's this positive. So um, the Laguz here is the 21st letter of the runic alphabet which is a 3 or a 12 uh, or something like that. So if we can take that up to the higher canon like I always do, that's the world card, the hangman, and the empress energies, okay? Uh, and yet it's water and it's moonlike energies as well. So this is victorious because we get the world energy within that, and that's a completion of something, it's success itself. The hangman is about releasing something and after having flipped yourself around and uh, see something that you have went within and reflected on and got some kind of discernment and releasing uh, something, okay? Um, letting go, sacrificing something in a situation, having understanding, okay? And then the empress herself, she's got the, the balanced scales within her of justice, right? And yet she also is, is something huge, it's known, something's public and something's prosperous, and something's nurturing, and, and it's business, it's romance, it's, it's babies, it's, it's the moon energy itself, water, okay, everything's connected, like we always say, so the 21st, this is the Laguz, and uh, let's go ahead and see what the book says about it, sorry, I have to read out of the book, I just do, um, yes, water, it's emotional, okay, it's introspection, well, that's what the hangman is, Okay, uh, that's what the moon is. It's your uh, subconscious mind as well, your gut instincts. Uh, I, go watch that little five-minute video because I touched on a lot of this stuff um, already with the moon energy itself. This is about balancing, and that is what the fourth house is about. Um, your subconscious mind, that's moon. Medicine as well. And uh, medicine's good. Some people need medicine because they're, they're over emotional or they're just out of balance. If the body itself is out of balance, you don't think right, you don't, you know, it just, it's not good. So, you know, laughter itself, and I say this all the time, I think we just got this the other day, laughter does good like a medicine. And if you, you go through spouts of, of not being able to laugh, you know, sometimes I got to make my own self laugh because I don't have anybody here, uh, you know, with me and you got you got to balance yourself. We're fixing to go into the ninth house, and that is about balancing as well. That's the chariot, the moon with Jupiter, and both those about balancing. Okay, so medicine. If we're not, you know, some of you got on your north star, north note readings this week. Um, you got a letter in that reading for this week and that was about um test results some of y'all gonna get some test results where medicine is concerned this week and, and so i just felt well, that's coming up in my spirit and i actually touched on that on my other um tarot reading this morning uh, this is about spirituality and tribulations and tribulations can also test us okay and try to get us out of balance 
And uh, you got to stand up and fight against that kind of stuff. This is humiliation. Well, disagreements to be overcome. I love it because in the one of my tarot reads this morning, the first tarot read that I've done, we had all kind. And I think I named it Executive Speak. Okay, because people are meeting today to talk about things where letters are going to be written, where they've in, you know had a lot of introspection within uh, looking at things from other points of views, getting, gaining some discernment, some wisdom, maybe to see if you were balanced. Okay, they're speaking today. A lot of people are going to get some get some news today. Uh, about some mysterious things, emotional things, tribulous things that have been going on. And it was nothing but positive stuff out there. Okay? Positive. Now, obviously the will goes either way. So if you're not standing in integrity, then you're going to have to take whatever the, the, the great spirit of the all dishes out. Because none of us get to escape that. Okay? Uh, that's your testing. That's my testing. Everyone's testing involved in whatever situation is coming out today because people are speaking today about some stuff, but it was positive. Okay, we had truth everywhere in that reading. So, but for some, it may be emotional or it has been emotional as you've waited throughout the time of whatever results you've been with. Those of you who've been waiting for results and business stuff and going on, uh, it's positive though, because it says that disagreements are overcome. Beautiful. It is time to celebrate. That's uh, beautiful that that came out because it is uh, connected to victory today with the chariot energies. I will put all those videos down below in the description box. I bless you all. I say sweet shalom. That's perfect peace. And that's how we escape.